Okay, good. So what we're going to do now is the last two combinations and then some other individual animals. And the first combination we'll do is called Empower, which is really the essence of... Yeah, when I reprint the labels, I think I'm going to call it spiritual empowerment because that's really what it is. It's for connecting with and expressing your authentic spiritual power. And it has bighorn sheep, lion, and peacock. Good. Next one. Oh, this is cool to see because just a few weeks ago I was seeing these guys in the wild and it's the first time I've seen a picture of bighorn since seeing, being there. Bighorn sheep is this big four-legged, so much bigger than a deer, right? So remember the bigger the land mammal, the more quality of grounding that comes through the essence. And yet they live all at the same time, they live way up high in the mountains like above, uh, do you guys do meters or feet here? Feet. So above 6,000, 6, 7,000 feet and above. So, and usually up higher. I usually see them up around 10 and 11,000. So, you've got this big land mammal with the grounding energy that lives up in the clouds. So it's this beautiful integration of groundedness and spiritual openness and embodying that as in one being. So if there's one essence for spiritual empowerment, for integrating heaven and earth in a physical body, in expressing that with authenticity and power, it is bighorn sheep. So if there so that's this is the essence of spiritual empowerment. And to that we add the lion. Okay, so as an individual essence, lion is... Oh, I think I'll start tell you a story about lion. This is a very special story that came from Western Australia. It's the single most powerful case study testimonial I've ever received about any of the animal essences. And in Western Australia, there was a man about 12 years ago who was wrongly convicted of capital murder. So he was innocent, and he was given a life sentence and thrown in jail with all the other murderers. Guys with real murders. And then he was totally innocent of the crime. And it took 10 years. He spent 10 years wrongly imprisoned. But several years ago, was finally exonerated and was released. And the government paid him half a million dollars in restitution, fired the prosecutors that had railroaded his case. It was a big deal. It's like justice was finally done. But this guy lost 10 years of his life in jail with other murderers. Well, not other murderers, in jail with murderers. So he got out of jail, he's at home, and he's absolutely paralyzed. You know, he's just terrified to go out into the, he hasn't been in the world for 10 years. He's been traumatized by being in prison for so long. And he literally doesn't know what to do. And he goes to a, a, a person he knew, knew a practitioner who came to him and talked to him and heard his story and all that. And she gave him one essence, and it was lion. And he began to take the lion, and within two weeks, Everything changed. His center came back. His confidence came back. He began to go out into the world again. He began to, he had been an artist, and he, he said, okay, I want to go back and go back to art school and continue, pick up where that got left off 10 years, 10 or 11 years before. And all of a sudden, he said, uh, you have to make sure, he called my distributor and said, you have to make sure you always have this lion because I'm going to need it for the rest of my life. And it was, and he put it all off to lion. And that was the single most powerful report I ever received. I remember reading it. I had tears streaming down my face. And my thought was, if that man is the only man that is ever, only person that's ever helped by my essences, that's enough. Like, it's worth it just for that one guy. And that is what Lion does, is it brings this sense of empowerment, of you're at the top of the food chain, so you have nothing to fear, there's nobody coming after you for a snack. You're free, fearless, and in your authority. 
So it's really good for helping you to connect with your own inner voice, your own spiritual authority, and to express that authority in a healthy way, in a loving way, in the world. And so in spiritual, empow in spiritual empowerment, this is an obvious addition to help us to claim that part of ourself that it feels totally courageous, totally fearless, totally uh, empowered. Okay. And then to that we add one more, which is Peacock. So Peacock is, the key word for Peacock is wholeness, wholeness and oneness. For knowing your wholeness, knowing yourself as a whole person, even with your imperfections, even with that, that all of who you are is good, even that which is flawed, even that which is imperfect, even that which makes mistakes, even that which does harm, you are still a divine whole being as you journey this path to fully know yourself as one with the divine. And it's really, the, the peacock has this sense of wholeness and then it puts its feathers out. It, you know, we have this saying in America, the pride of the peacock, which is like really putting down the peacock as though he's prideful and boastful. That's not what the peacock's doing. The peacock's just saying, hey, this is who I am and I'm showing myself to the world in this way. And that's what the world needs us all to do, is to find our light, connect with our light, and shine it to the world. We don't need to go around hiding our light out of fear that other people might think we're boasting or uh, bragging or being prideful, all that stuff. That's just stuff. The world needs us to humbly show ourselves and share ourselves with the world. Share your gifts. Share your gifts. Share your gifts. So it's really good for people who have a lot to share with the world but are reluctant, who feel like you know, it's not okay to really put themselves out into the world. And so in, and in spiritual empowerment, it brings this sense along with the bighorn sheep and the lion. It adds this quality of, I am whole and complete and perfect, just as I am. Can I just Please. Say, um, I didn't actually pick up it while we were having discussions in the group, but you just said there about the peacock and how I should have the peacock. And I've got the world and shining on top of it and go forth and shine, which is exactly what you just said. It kind of looks like a peacock, sort of, too, with the feathers here. Choo, 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 choo. Okay. When did you draw that? I, I took the peacock essence. You took the peacock essence? This morning, I've got exactly what Holy you cow. Go forth and shine, and that's the Go thing. forth and shine. Okay. Wow. I love it. Go forth and shine. Thank you. That is the message of peacock. Go, f go find your light, go forth and shine. It's different from go forth and multiply. <laughs> go forth and shine. Yes. In your book, you say uh, for the peacock essence. Yeah. For people who really suffer. Yeah, because when you are broken, you don't know your, your goodness, your wholeness. You feel like, I'm broken, I'm not whole. So it helps to bring forth and balance that feeling of identification with the brokenness. So at what stage of the well, not right at the beginning. Middle? Yeah, like middle, like third on. Like once they've done some work and are able to see that they're really making progress, then you add that and it helps them to really notice that and to claim that.